Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we're testing every single mask on Amazon. Today, looking once again at WW Doll. I'm not sure why, but uh, we're looking at it. Let's get it in the clamper and see what happens. Tested this brand before, and I've tested this manufacturer many, many times. Oh, Chengde. This is made by Chengde Technology Co. This company called the Chengde Technology Co. So the real manufacturer is called uh, Chengde Technology Co. And uh, they make probably about half of the KN95s on Amazon and they range anywhere, spoiler alert, get that clamped, anywhere between 60 PFE on this machine to 99. So they're not a manufacturer that I would choose or trust just because they're all over the place. Let's talk about WW Doll. They are widely, widely, widely recommended by well, like People Magazine and all these people who are just trying to get you to click on their links so they will get a percentage, probably eight to 10% of uh, you know, the listing if you buy it. Um, this is not a good mask that I would trust personally. That's, that's, my, uh, that's my thought. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is great. I haven't seen this. WW Doll has produced specifically clean workshop. The filter efficiency of masks has been certified to be over 95. Now this uh, is, uh, this is the mask that you would use for an N95 to, or the machine. It's uh, the 8130 by TSI. We have a slightly different machine here. This is not a KN95 though. Why do I say that? None of Cheng Day's masks are actually KN95s. To be a KN95, you need three things. You need to say KN95, you need to have the standard, which in this case is GB2626-2019. That's the last year of the standard. And then you gotta have the manufacturer name, which is on the bag, Cheng Day Technology Co. You need to have that on the mask, why? So they can't trick you like they're doing by saying this is WW Doll or uh, Annan Bros or uh, they have a ton of names. Um, they want you to actually put the name on the mask, which they're not doing. But, you know, they do make a product that doesn't break. So like from a construction standpoint, it's pretty strong. It typically smells like Chinese pro polypropylene. Let me do a smell test. Whoa. Oh, sh what the? Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, that smells like poison. <laughs> Um, okay, this is the worst smelling uh, Chengde mask that I've ever had. I, that's a new one. Usually it smells like polypropylene. I, I don't even know how to, I mean, I'm just going to say it smells like pure poison. Uh, I wouldn't put that on my face, but that's, that's just me. But, you know, not bad from a protection set. If you can survive the inside of that mask, it may protect you from whatever is on the outside. 99.431. 99.431. Again. There are better masks out there. I've got a list of all the masks we've tested on Amazon. I would choose a different one, but that's just me. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and attention as always. We are moving here, as you can see in the background. So we're trying to jam out as many of these tests as possible before the move happens. And so every day we're dropping a new test at 10 a.m. I will see you here tomorrow, bright and early, 10 a.m. I'm watching, I'm watching, see you there.